Good morning, friends of PrivateerFX. Welcome to the Asian Preview, North American Wrap. Well, let's go through what happened today during North America, and then we'll start looking at uh, what's ahead in your time zone. Uh, the dollar uh, index came off, came back some of the gains, was down as you can see here, about 0.32% um, on the day. Did not make a new high, but you know, kind of a engulfed the previous day's candle. A little bit of indecision, and this is uh, really just depends on what which currency pair you're looking at. But uh, cable was the big mover. Obviously, a Brexit. Uh, Headline, here's the 15-minute chart of British pound. We were trading around 128.30. It spiked to a high of 129.83. Um, on the Reuters headline that Germany and the UK were dropping key Brexit demands. So a nice 150-point rally. And then it was reversed, as you can see here, a couple hours later when the German government denied any change on their Brexit position. Uh, Sterling still closed positive on the day, but, you know, giving back a decent chunk here um, from 129.60 down to 128.75 was the low. Closing up here just above 129, the figure. So that continues to just be a headline game. Uh, Euro... Caught a bit of a, a bid with the Brexit news. You can see it's the same bar right here. And with the euro strength, um, seemed to uh, stop some of the bleeding in the uh, the dollar EM space. Let me get over to a daily chart you can see here. Dollar Turkey, you know, we haven't had too many red bars of late. So that was slightly lower. And dollar Mex actually... If you remember, I believe I was talking about this the other day. We had a target in dollar max at uh, this half Fibo. Why can't I get this? Here we go. So this is the swing that we've been following here in dollar max. And we went right up to the half Fib, 1968-1969. So there was some emerging market strength, the euro caught a, a bit of a bid on the back of the initial um, Brexit headlines. Dollar China, pretty pretty quiet, down a little bit on the day. Um, the earliest Trump can make a decision on the $200 billion that he's threatened China with on the tariffs, um, tomorrow be the, would be the earliest he could actually do anything with these tariffs. Um, he did say that the negotiations were going well with China, but they're not prepared to make a deal, a deal that they want, that we want, the U.S. wants. Bank of Canada, complete non-event. More hikes ahead. I think it's about 80-some percent priced in for the next meeting. Um, in the U.S. and Canada, there were some NAFTA headlines. The ne negotiations re resumed today. And, you know, it looks like this is going to carry on for another few days. Um, what else do we have as far as price action goes? Dollar yen, remember we took out those stops last night and gave up a lot of its gains. A couple earthquakes in Japan, which didn't seem to really have any impact whatsoever. Um, you know, overall it was a, a pretty quiet day, aside from the Aside from the cable headlines, um, I would say it was a relatively quiet day. We do have the Ricks Bank tomorrow. Why don't we take a look at the Euro Stocky chart real quick here? Um, you know, nice run up. And one, two, three, four, pretty much five down days in a row. Uh, we're going to run this run this last swing fib because I think this will come into play tomorrow we're through the third so the half fib is 1048 um, we think that the Ricks Bank tomorrow will 
reiterate the uh, that you know looking for a December hike and the market's pricing in a December hike. And although the inflation's weak and there's trade wars and domestic collection uncertainty, um, I guess that does heighten a uh, delay and maybe they don't hike uh, this year. But market's still pricing in and, uh, you know, the Swedish kroner has been under a lot of pressure. It's taken back some of that with Eurostocky back down here. Um, I, I'm not expecting much out of them tomorrow. Uh, what else? Why don't we go to the weed stocks? Let's see what they did today. Kronos, Citron Research shorted that. Sorry. I'm trying to shrink this down. Made a new all time high. Reverse lower. You know, U.S. equities were under a little bit of pressure. Here's Tilray, Til new all-time high, almost got to $100. Someone was calling for $100 by year end. Look at this, absolutely parabolic. Oh my God. Uh, I've actually bought some puts on Tilray. They're not working out so well. This is Canopy Growth. You know, they're one of the um, stars. You know, they, they would be, they're the ones that Constellation Brands is looking at. Reversal Day. We haven't had this is kind of a big reversal day. And the list goes on. Um, there is an Australian one that I'm going to start. That I want to start following. Here's a doji out of uh, GTI, Green Thumb Industries. That's kind of interesting. So I think this is, you know, I think the market's gotten a little bit ahead of itself. Um, probably due for a correction. Um, if you look at there's been a lot of talk about this rotation out of cryptos and into weed stocks. Look at Ethereum. New lows. Let's go to the weekly. We're through everything. All time three quarter Fibo. Get rid of that now. I mean, we are coming up on. You know, it looks like it's about an 80-some percent drop. You know, and there are some weed stocks that are, that are looking a little bit like this. Um, frothy, without a doubt. I mean, I, I don't even know where, I wouldn't even know where to buy this thing. Whole weekly low here at 200, psychological level. One thirty-one. But you can see that. You know, you look at Bitcoin, Ethereum. Um, we'll look at Ripple here in a second. Ripple, or here's Bitcoin. Huge levels here at 5,900. This is really big. This area breaks, I think Bitcoin goes all the way down here. If not lower. Um, take a look at Ripple. That was another one of everyone's favorite. Was all in this thing from 10 cents, got out a bit higher, went up to three dollars 30 cents, and has since collapsed. So, the rotation out of cryptos and into the Canadian and the US listed uh, marijuana stocks seems to be in full force. And maybe I'll get a I'll run a chart where I can uh, I'll run like the marijuana index against the crypto index and you can see how the how that uh, is playing out anyhow we got uh, Aussie trade balance coming up um, let's take a look and see what else we have yeah, yeah nothing nothing too major we got ADP tomorrow because of the shortened week Anyhow, good luck trading, and you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.